Good day and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at headers and footers um, and we'll be looking probably at page numbers as well. Okay, so here we have a typical document. You'll see there's some career info. Um, we've got a document of about four pages. I'm just confirming that. We've got four pages over there. All right, so where do we go to, to insert our headers, footers, and page numbers? And as I said, insert. <laughs> there we go. All right, so insert tab, we're looking at the header and footer section. So we're going header, footer, page number. We want to work through these items. So if I click on the little down arrow with header, um, you'll see that there are a number of templates. Now pay attention to this because you will be asked in the paper um, to insert a particular um, header. So they'll give you the name and then you would just go and click on that. Okay, this is if they're just asking you um, to do something, you know, pertaining to a particular header. So they tell you insert a blank three column header and you click on that and you would then be able to uh, you can see then it opens up the header section i can go and oops i can go and type in there uh, click on that type there click on that type there and when i close uh, my header you can see it's it goes gray because this is a header and if i scroll through my document the same thing is in the header section of each and every page okay so if I want to go back into that, I double click on that section. You can see that it says here, show document text. Um, I can even say different odd and even pages uh, or different first page. And you can see when I say different first page, it actually goes away. I can indicate where, you know, how many centimeters it must be from the top or how many centimeters the footer, footer must be from the bottom. Um, I have a number of options there. So I've put in different first page, different odd even pages. Let's have a look at what it does. So on the first page, nothing. Second page, nothing. On the third page, it comes up. And on the fourth page, nothing. So let's see why. Remember, we said different on the first page. So it's not going to display there. And different odd even pages. So it will display on the odd pages. Um, on the even pages, there should be something else. Let's just go in here. And now you will see there's a different header on the even pages and on the odd pages. Right, so now in our document, let's look at page numbers. So I'm going to go insert, I'm going to go page number, and I'm just going to say bottom of the page, I'm going to use a plain number two. Okay. You'll see and you'll notice now that on page number one, there's a number, it's three, four, five, six. And you might wonder, what, well, why is it starting from page number three? Okay, when you are in this tab, navigate over to the left and go to page number and then format page numbers. So this is where we can look at the number format used. Um, and you'll see that it's starting at page number three or it's starting from the number three. So if I start from number one, I click OK, you'll see page one is page one, page two is page two, three and four. But let's say this is a cover page and I don't want this number displaying there. Uh, again, like I did with my header and my footer, I can say different first page um, and I can even say different odd and even pages, which then means that on page number one, nothing will display. Nothing on number two. Right. But number three will display okay um, because i've put in i've put that tick in different odd even pages and i've said different first page okay and when i want to remove this i go to the footer section and i say remove footer because it's in that area and it's done it's removed so that's how we look at and deal with our headers footers and page numbers.